What is up, everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. We're going to be talking about some of my favorite gear out of 2023. Let's get into it. Okay, so I thought I would just run through like in one video. I'm gonna try to do this in one video, but if I find that it runs long, I might break it up. So I'm compartmentalizing this so that I can go through each type of gear in hopes that I can get it in one video, but if I can't, that I'll break it into other videos. So we're gonna start with organizers. I think this is probably gonna be the easiest and quickest to get through. And what I mean by organizers is just the stuff that I use to carry my gear. You guys have probably heard me talk about Art Company before, and I really like a lot of their stuff because they don't just make the same organizer and they don't offer it in just one size. So you can see here, I have the larger version of this one, and I apologize, I can't remember what it's called, and it holds full-size pocket knife. As you can see, I have the Riot XOM in here. It holds a medium pin. I have the titanium precision pin. Unfortunately, they sold their business. They're no longer around, but it would hold a tactile uh, pin as well. And I have my favorite flashlight this year, which we'll circle back to here in a minute in this organizer. And I like this because all this gear fits in here perfectly. I'm able to drop it in the pocket and this will be like a companion carry or a secondary knife that I would carry to the primary knife that's clipped in my pocket. And it's still, when I wear jeans, gives me the option for like something smaller if I wanted to be discreet to throw down in there. So I really like the quality of these. I like the assortment that they offer. So this one here, I probably should have thrown a little slip in here. I have, I usually throw like the tactile bear or the QSB Hedgehog or something like that in here. And I have the mini tactile um, side click pin in this one. And then I have the i3, or is this the i2? No, this is the i5, sorry, the i2, oh Lord. The i5 uh, EOS fits in here perfectly. So this is nice, you know, summertime, if you wanted to go something a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, this is gonna be definitely lighter than a full size knife with all of this gear. So that's Art Company. Let's talk about pouches. These are my Data Crew Awada slides. My earbuds that I usually throw in this one are actually charging today, so not gonna be able to see all of that. So we'll get into this one. Actually, I'll show you the inside of both. What I like about these are the size. They offer a lot of room and they offer customizing options with REs or pouch, patches, whatever you wanna throw in on this side. It has a nice clean side here. I have used this when I'm going somewhere and I don't want to carry a wallet also. So I'll throw like debit license and maybe a little cash in this and just carry this in hand. So I don't have to worry about somebody taking off with it. I need another bead here, but I have the uh, EMP EDC Atom Bomb right here in Altum. I like that. I think it looks, you know, really good with my little pineapple and dead nuts RE that I have over here. But I like it, again, because of the size. It offers a really roomy interior that I'm able to carry like a little microfiber cloth to clean my glasses or my phone screen. I can fit my Raycon earbuds in here. I love these for working out, working outside, and just, you know, something to listen to. I have my one of my favorite small micro flashlights that are really potent. Um, I don't know why it's getting hung up today. That's my Ion from Dapper Design. I really like this. It's a very affordable, under $100 titanium flashlight. Um, when you lock it out, the battery lasts a long time. So five clicks and it cuts on and you, you can really easily, um, oh, is the battery dead or did I lock it? Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So it was locked, apologies. Um, very bright light, very useful for me if you, you know, Carry flashlights, you know, I'm not going to get into that, into that too much, but very straightforward functionality. Um, single clicks change the brightness, a uh, solid click cuts it off, and then five clicks lets you know that it's locked. Apparently, I hadn't locked it before. I like that that's in here. I have the charge cable in here for my Raycons but it also works on the DAP design. So I love that that little charger charging cable will do both. 
I don't know if anyone ever caught the video, but this is my tactical keychains slide. It's a little magnetic slide that's made here in the US. And I really like this. It's a nice alternative if you want to, um, pushed it out too far. If you want to have something to get into packages and even break down boxes, I've used this like draw cutting to break down, you know, relatively small cardboard and the, um, the, razor blades replaceable so it fits in here nicely they have a bunch of colorways it's a really cool option and i like the company a lot i'm not going to get into everything here uh, that's everything on the right side and then you do have the option for some more re's to customize in here which i really like i have my pony stout in here i have big idea design mini side click i have my crkt tool made by scout tools that has internal storage i have an eight a six, a Phillips head and a flathead in there. And yes, I have had to use the flat and the Phillips before. And in the back, I have um, alcohol pads and like two or three band-aids. So that's pretty much my standard loadout for here. Again, I really like it because it allows me to throw the buds in here. But if you had something, you know, a little bit thicker that's going to go in here, it's it has the space for it without being absurdly thick. And they also have like the... What do they call it? The short slide? The mini slide? I can't remember what it is, but they have one that's a little bit thinner if you wanted to use it more like a wallet with a, a little bit of gear in there. And it's pretty much the same loadout in here. I have the uh, atom bomb from EMP EDC, the black one here. I, I was able to, to get that through the lefty pass around. Lefty let us pick that one. This one a little bit different though. I have the SOG power pint in here and then I have the chub from TACCOM knives. I rock the i3 EOS and then again the mini pin from um, Big Idea Design but it's this uh, side side bolt action. I'm not quite sure. And then I usually have my other Raycons in here and just a different little microfiber cloth again for the glasses. So a little bit different in here. I don't have the cable in both. I just kind of swap them depending on what it is. But that's all the gear um, for storage. I do want to talk about like alternative gear really quickly. So um, I didn't mean to close this. So let's go ahead and talk really fast about some pins that I picked up this year that I really, really like. And that is going to be the, uh, this is the mini from Tactile. It's not really a mini. And then the mini from Precision Pin. And then you have the mini from Big Idea Design. I really like these pins a lot. Um, I think my favorite is the smooth precision pen. I really like the bolt action being part of the actual pocket clip. If I, you know, if I had to say, I think this one, because it has the, it's the least intrusive or it has the least amount of parts to it. So it's really clean from all angles and you only have the slide here that moves with the pocket clip versus where if you look at these others, it is, you know, it's a click pin, so they have to have the button. So you have more going on with it. It's not quite as clean because you have the button on this side versus not on this side. From a size perspective, the actual Tactile Mini is like the best size for me with larger hands to write with because I still can get all of my hand on there and write with it. And it has, oops, it has performed really well. And I really like those pins. And last I checked, you can get this basic version for under $100, full titanium, made in the USA. It's, it's a really nice option. I do like the minis from Big Idea because they do fit in the organizers, or I'm sorry, in the pouches. But what I have found for me with the larger hands, I can't really fit it on there. But if I'm grabbing this out of the pouch, to be honest, it's probably just to jot down a quick note or something that I don't want to forget. So when I get back home, and yes, you can open notes in your phone and do it like that. But I really like this because if I want to write a note and set it aside, I can, and I can pull it out of the organizer and I'm not always on my phone. Plus I'm old school. You know, I enjoy like writing, making notes, doodling, things like that. And sometimes I really just don't want to be on my phone to do that. Uh, I wish the clicker on this was just a skosh taller. It works. It 100% works, but I just wish the button was a little bit bigger because I've missed a couple times. I pushed on the pin, not realizing I wasn't on it, so I have a little bit of a harder time finding it. 
But back to my comment earlier, right? It's a cleaner design overall for sure. So those are just some of the pins. Um, I do miss smooth precision pins. So you, they used to do really fun, funky patterns on here. And not too many other companies are really doing that. Tactile does seasonal colorways and sometimes some patterns, um, but it's usually like print patterns. It's not really machined out like the puzzle pieces or the dragon scales or the chain links that you would see from smooth precision pen. I really like those, but those could get kind of pricey. So, um, you know, I, I know he sold his equipment. I, I think he's changing directions with his business. Uh, I'm not 100% what's going on, sure what's going on because I haven't seen anything in a while from him. So those are the pins. We're going to put the pins back and we're going to circle back to flashlights. Um, and then the last thing is going to be like maintenance and tool stuff. So my favorite flashlight used to be i3, i5, T, E, O, S. They're very simple. I think there are two, yeah, two brightnesses on both of them. They're tail clicks, which work really well for me. It's very intuitive to use. The click is very tactile, uh, easy to feel when you're looking for it, and it has a nice feedback when you go to operate it. I really, really like these. The i5 TEOS takes the battery, so you would want to buy um, a rechargeable, I forget which one this is. Let's take a look, because this is their battery. Um, Oh, this is the AA, but I think there there's a AA sized battery that works in here. And then the other one that I really like is the i5R. The R I think is downstairs in my Max Expedition, so I didn't bring that one up here. But the R is rechargeable, and I can't remember. I think the threes only take AAA batteries. Yeah, yeah, i3 T EOS, so T. Um, tail click, I think that's what it stands for. Those just take uh, AAA batteries. And same thing here, two click setting. It's a little bit smaller for me, but I like that it takes less room, but I can still get uh, four fingers on there. My fingers do hang off a little bit, so some of the light clicks on that. And then same thing, you got two brightness settings. Very, very straightforward, very functional. I will say the tail switch, I don't know if it's because it's larger or not, but it feels a little bit nicer on the i5, 100%. My favorite, absolute favorite, and top recommendation for budget-friendly flashlights is going to be the Ace Beam Rider X. I really like this, or RX, sorry. I really like this one a lot. It has a little bit more thickness because it has the aluminum, aluminum shell, shell to dissipate the heat, but they have a couple of options for the outer shell. So this one here is the titanium one. I haven't really seen this one come back in stock for quite a little bit. So I don't know if they're trying to get production out or what's going on with that. And I think this one at the time that I bought it was like under a hundred bucks or right around. So titanium shell, aluminum inner shell, uh, which dissipates the heat. Nice pocket clip here. And I'll show you in a second why it has all this cutout here, which I really do like. And then I really, really like the tail switch on this one. So same thing. You have two light modes here or three. Sorry, that's right. This one does have three. You have the low. Hold on. There you go. You have the moonlight, you have medium, and then you have bright, and then you have ultra bright. So four, making a liar out of me. You can tell how long, how much I use the uh, brightest settings on here. So you have four settings on here. You have a very nice pocket clip, works on the bill just like the Olights do. So if you have a hat and you want to stick it on the bill, you really can get it on there fairly easily when you take it off. I think I just totally missed the bill there. Um, yeah, there we go. So you can put it on the bill. It does add a little bit of weight, but you know, in a pinch, if you need both hands free, that works nicely. The clip itself works nice. It has good bite, and then it has a little bit of a cutout here to kind of make sure that it's biting down and not really sliding out. You can see it does have some marks. So while I do like the functionality of this and how it works, um, I will say that you can see that it does scrape fairly easy when it moves around. The titanium is marred, but again, you know, it's titanium. I think that just adds character to it. What's neat about this one is this outer shell 
because they, you know, they have, I think, a blacked out one, and then I think I have the, they have a stainless steel that's mirror polished or has a mirror polished finish to it or something to that effect. Um, but the outer shell is really clean looking. I love how the blue kind of comes through just a little bit there. And then it has these detent balls that allows it to move over, and then you can push it forward to actually open it to get to the, the not the tail cap, the nose cap, and that allows you to get down into the battery here. It has a rechargeable 920 mAh battery. And the battery has held up so long. I can't even tell you the last time I recharged this flashlight. I mean, it has to have been four or five months ago. Um, I probably should charge it because it's probably going to die on me when I go to use it. But I, I like that function. I think it's neat. Um, it kind of gives it a little bit of a fidgety type factor. Uh, I don't know if that's important to anyone. It's really not a factor for me. I just like that it has that also. Um, it's really quite cool and very different from a design perspective. It also has a little bit of a layer over top of the aluminum. So when you do have it on the brightest setting, the aluminum is a, is dissipating the heat underneath the outer shell, and the outer shell remains relatively cool. So I really like that about that about this. I think the tail switch on here feels crisper than what you find on the Olights, but um, definitely my favorite flashlight of the year. 100% recommended if you you know want a flashlight that's the same size as like an i5. I don't know. I think they do. I think they have a slightly smaller variant, but it's not as small as the i3. It's just a little bit smaller than the Rider X. I can't remember what it's called, so my editor might have to throw that on the screen. All right, let's dive into the last piece of this because we're almost at 20 minutes and I haven't even gotten into like your maintenance gear. One of my favorite pickups that absolutely surprised me this year is going to be the NAFS tool roll. Now, I stopped using it as a roll and kind of more of like folded over. Um, so it's kind of a messy taco, which I think is funny because I think it's called the burrito roll, if I recall correctly. And it has a little bit of a, it has a clasp, not a little bit of a, it has a clasp here that you can use to kind of draw it closed. But I usually find in this instance for me, like rolling it up like this, or even just doing like a fold and setting it to the side does enough for me. What I really like about this is that it has a place to kind of organize your tools. So your drivers, Nice spot for them here. Pens. If you had mini tools, you could put them in here. I picked up a drop applicator for my oil that I kind of just refill and use. I have my titanium wee bar that I anodized in here. And then I have my thread locker. And it holds everything nicely organized, easy to put away and store. And then over here, I have whatever I need. You know, I have my uh, electronic board Q-tips. I have other sized bits. I have a piece of cardboard for centering. Um, I have other bit sizes here just in case I need them. I think these are T10. Um, I believe, no, because I have T10 down in there. I think these are like for, oh yeah, the 7 and the 9. Those are for, it's for the um, American Blade Works that has a unique size. But it, it, it's nice because it keeps it all organized in there. I would say, I love that it's transparent so you can kind of see what you're grabbing while it's in here. But the mesh material is a little cheap, a little flimsy. I, I wish it was a little bit of a nicer material, but it hasn't frayed or broken. It just feels a little bit cheaper. I love these drivers. These are the Griffin tool. This is the Audacious Concept drivers. You know, really a driver is just personal preference, but I, I can say these are really nice. I like these because you can hold the bearing piece spin and get things in and out a little bit more quickly which is great for video editing and time maintenance my dog is barking at someone walking by the house apologies for that but that is the nafs uh, uh burrito tool roll i really like this a lot very handy but that is going to be everything for pieces of gear for 2023 that i really liked i i hope it was helpful for you guys i I don't think everyone's always into all of the same things. And this is just some of the more fun stuff that I like that I use fairly regularly. Um, you know, right, light, knife, right, right, knife, slice, however you want to say it. 
is really kind of like my main carry out of everything and the things that I use the most. I could probably move away from the pens um, and use, like I said, my phone to take notes and things of that nature. But notes, I'm not always keeping notes in my phone. I'm usually like writing a list of things that I want to go over, making notes about things that I'm reviewing. And it's easy to kind of jot that down. And then when I get through a notebook, I can disregard it because I do handle knives for a shorter period of time when it comes through the pass around versus my own personal ones that I carry longer. I can do more tests on them and I can give feedback on them, but I'm a small channel with limited funds. So I can't buy everything that I want to look at and I can't keep everything that I buy as much as we would all love that. Um, so my collection stays fluid with the, you know, exception of a few pieces that I, I really, really enjoy that either stick around a long time that are gifts that I keep or ones that I just, I like so much that I keep them. Uh, for instance, my shaman, my spider co shaman. I, I honestly, truthfully don't know that I would ever see myself, um, getting rid of that one. anyway i probably should have covered storage gear maybe i'll do that in another video uh, anything that you would like to know about any questions or anything that you'd like to see other than this as far as my gear just let me know in the comments down below shout out to everyone out there that leaves the likes the comments and that is subscribe i love you guys and i hope you have a fantastic week until next time peace